Yeah, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is Friday. Happy Friday. Slate starting in a few hours. Didn't get a chance to make one this morning, so I wanted to go ahead and just give you guys the, the plays that I like for today. We got a nice slate of NBA games, so let's get started. Uh, let's run through this pretty quickly, but uh, first prop that I like a lot today is uh, Jordan Poole. Of course, he's up to 26 and a half, but still think he's a really good play today. We know what happened last time these two teams played just the other day. Just their last game. Uh, it was a high-scoring game. And we saw that Charlotte, even though they only scored 18 points in the second quarter, they still were able to uh, put up almost 120. Washington blew them out at the end a little bit, one by 18. Uh, but I'm expecting this one to be, once again, competitive. Poole got off to a bad start oh, of 6 in the first quarter. And then so wasn't really able to recover, but hoping that he knocks some shots down today. 26.5 PRA. Taking the over on him. Uh, I like LaMelo Ball. Also going right back to him, 43 and a half. He hit pretty comfortably. Well, with the scoring, looked good out there. Uh, his PRA, he hit just a little bit over 45. I think it was like 41 and a half, 42 and a half last game. But uh, we know he's going to continue scoring back-to-back 30-point games. Gave you pretty low rebound game, only four. And then assists were only at seven. But typically, he's going to get you a ton. I mean, his line's at 10 today. Just how high scoring this game should be. You probably want to get some action in that game. Going Tyrese Maxey over 33.5 against the Pistons. Sixers look amazing. Uh, Tyrese Maxey's is looking so good out there. Probably one of the front runners for most improved player. Uh, continues to put up 20 points a game. Last game with 25. He's not forcing shots. He's getting his teammates involved. Uh, the rebounds. He had a 9 rebound game last time. He had a 10 against Portland. So he is chipping in in all categories, assists. He had a couple double-digit assist games. I'm taking all three of his stats combined. He's getting big minutes, and matchup against the Pistons is a good one. Anthony Edwards, he's been one of the best players in NBA this season, especially uh, recently he's been on a tear. We know Cat's not really doing much offensively this season. He's not taking as many shots as usual. It's definitely Anthony Edwards' team, and uh, Conley doesn't shoot a ton. Gobert's not... A volume shooter and then McDaniels just takes his open look so on the starting lineup it's just Edwards and Cat who'd really like to score and this year it's been mainly Edwards so I'm taking the over 37 and a half really good matchup against the Spurs he does give you some rebounding upside the assists have been there a lot so don't mind if you wanted to take his points and assists but it's at 32 and a half this time taking you know 27 points get you five rebounds that's 32 right there you only need you know, six assists to get it done, but it'll probably give you more than 27 points the way that he's been scoring recently. That's the fourth prop. Fifth one, John Collins taking him over 13 and a half points. We know that he's going to be playing more minutes just with Kessler not there. Could get the start at center again today, going up against uh, the, the Grizzlies who have struggled this season. Uh, and line is at 13 and a half points. He's been green almost every game this year. Had 16 against Memphis earlier. Just like him, you know, he's been pretty consistent. He shoots a good amount. He can hit his threes at times, and uh, it's just low for maybe getting a few extra minutes without Kessler. And then last but not least, going with SGA. Haven't used him, which has been kind of a mistake because he's been really good. It's just sometimes his line seems a little high. But in this matchup, he's going up against, uh, type his name correctly, uh, the Thunder. They're going up against the Kings, who... Still missing Fox. We know they've been struggling without Fox. They got to win their last game in OT, but they're still struggling. And SGA has been amazing this year, continues to just do it all. His uh, assist numbers have been really good this year. He's been definitely more consistent in that department, and then the rebounds are still there, especially with them having Chet at the center position. And then the other positions, they run pretty small with Williams at the four. So it's uh, definitely some opportunities for a guy like SGA, a 6'6 guard, to grab some rebounds. So taking him over as well. Those are the six that I'm looking at. Just got a lot of studs in here, just kind of building around some superstars, you know, minus Collins and uh, Jordan Poole. But the rest I would consider superstars and just kind of kind of trust them today on a Friday night. See what happens. Best of luck, and I will catch you all next time.